Hey, 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 what are you playing at? Jimmy, leave it. Why should I? Who is he anyway? <sighs> He's the fella that's been leaning on Jackie Dixon. Protection, you know what I mean? juggling chicken anyway, isn't it? Hey, right. I'll get this off, then we can go for a meal or something before back at 22.15, eh? Right. Well, uh, there's no rush, is there? Right. Well, uh, I'll see you in the corridor, then. Yeah. OK, girls.
给你滚开！Well, if Friends is on tape, you can watch it tomorrow, babe. I'm going to Jerry's party tomorrow. I know you are, which is why you gotta go to bed and get a good night's sleep. <sighs> well, he's finally gonna. See? Little Billy knows when it's time to go to bed and he's only four months old. Because he can't watch telly yet. Oh. <laughs> Fancy a cup of tea? I'd love one. And, um, something for us, then? You what? Oh, I say. Very sexy. Oh, Lindsay's away enjoying herself. Life in the old dogs yet, eh? Eh? Life, old and dog. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we get a Chinese in? No, I'll make the with you for tonight. <laughs> Mrs. Corkhill? Um, yeah. And you must be Kylie. Um, go upstairs, love. See our little Billy, you see? I know you. What do you want? Would you like Barry the Elephant? Go upstairs, love. We'll be up in a minute, it's all right. Well, what's going on? I'm no interested in hunting kids. For parents, maybe. But no kids. You are? Oh, God, not all in. Uh, more like your nephew-in-law. Barry! Yeah. Barry the Elephant crashing around in my business. Hang about. If you want to get involved in a street war with Barry over Bar Brookie, that's between you and him. Not us, and not our Lindsay. If you're the kind of mother I think you are, I'm sure you want her exactly who and what she was getting involved with. Aye, aye, aye. Let's cut all the telly gangster stuff, shall we? What do you want? You tell Barry here to cut his Mel Gibson act and go back to where he came from. Oh? Jimmy, you know the score. You wouldn't hate our Lindsay for this, would you? He walks away. And you get your granddaughter's mammy back. Oh. And I want 20 grand. You bought? OK. Make it 15 for prompt payment. And use your rules. No cops, OK? Cheers, mate. Yeah. What are we gonna do, Jim? <sighs> Wait till Barry gets in touch. Do you think he meant it? Yeah. And the trouble is, so will Barry when he gets back. So much for this, I'm off. Why is it always us, Jim? <sighs> I don't know. Ew, where do you think Barry is? Don't know that either. Come on! Jackie, I haven't slept. A wink myself, but you know what it's about. It's Clint Eastwood looking after Dicko's bar, isn't it? What? Clint Eastwood in Seven Brides film. You'll put in it in the Magnificent Seven. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> Barry was supposed to have sorted that lot, putting the arm on Dicko, and now they're using our Lindsay to get back at him. Yeah, but they weren't really hers, were they? I mean, they're only doing this to put the frightener on Barry, aren't they? If he walks away, they'll let her go. 
if he walks away. Well, why shouldn't he? It's not his face anyway. Love, he must be involved big style for them to be going to all this trouble. Oh. I don't know how! But he will walk away, won't he? <sighs> oh, Love, you're joking, aren't you? There's no chance of that. Don't you remember the way he sorted Garden? Hmm? It was Garden who stitched my brothers up and I couldn't. That scum killed our Frankie and stitched our Billy up and I didn't have the bottle to... Don't, Jim. It's a long time ago. Yeah, I know. But look at me. It never goes away, does it, eh? I didn't have the bottle to sort Joey Garden. No, but Yul Brynner did, didn't he? And at what price, eh? We've hardly seen your Billy and Sheila since. Never leaves you, does it? What? Your past. We should be so lucky. Every time I think we're just getting straight, it's right back in your face. I mean, what's all Lindsay done to deserve this? I wish I'd never gone to see little Jimmy now. And that was the same. Couldn't even save my own son. Jimmy too. If I hadn't gone to see little Jimmy's grave, I never would have seen him. Well, we can play that game forever, can't we? If I hadn't walked in the iron door that Friday night and tripped over your feet. I never really wanted it, you know. What? Well, I forgave you. I didn't give you. I never wanted to grow up a thief in Scally. But by the time I was ten, I was already branded. Why didn't I just do what our Billy did and walk away and get a proper job? He only did that after your Frankie was killed. Yes, but he did it, love. I mean, he was gutted just like me, but he did it. What did I do? Nothing. I was useless. I always have been. Jimmy, don't. Please, please don't do this to yourself. And look at me now. My only daughter is being held by God knows what head cases and what am I doing? Drinking tea and waiting for Nelly the Elephant to come home and sort it! It's him. Have you been in touch? I've got Lindsay. Yeah, well I didn't come back here for a cup of tea, did I? He's left you a little present, and he's told us to Ew. tell you. That scumbag you threw out of Dicko's bar! And? He wants you to walk away. And... He wants 15 grand in cash. Well, when? Where? Well, where's he want to do the deal? You did ask, didn't you, Jimmy? Well, you're useless, you are! Hey, you. That's our daughter he's got! Yeah, and they torch my car! Your car? How can you even think about... Oh, Jesus. Aye, aye, Barry. What are you going to do with that? Jimmy, do you have to live up to your reputation as a dickhead? You can't. Oh, yes, I can. What can this achieve? Listen, I've talked to that blade over the road. I've told him if he wants to get involved in this type of business, you've got to be prepared to go all the way. Yeah, but if you just walk away, it'll be all right. Oh, yeah, if I give them 15 grand. And who's going to pay for me car? Oh, forget about your bleeding car, will you? It's our daughter at stake here. Yeah, and I'm going to get her back. You'll get her back if you walk away. The rest is just money, Barry. You can easily get that. OK. So I walk away. And you get Lindsay back. What happens to Ron Dicko and Jackie, eh? Them shitheads will walk all over them. And everyone else round here. Have you thought about that? I don't care about the others. You what? I don't care about the others. God forgive me, but we've been through enough for ten lifetimes. And I just want Lindsay back. That's all I care about! Well, believe it or not, so do I. I care about it as well. And this, see this, it's the only thing that's going to get her back. I'm coming with you. Oh, no, you're not. I've had to sort out enough of your crap in the past. What are you going to do? <laughs> Just like that? Jimmy.
You add. I'm useless. You can't just go out and kill people, can you? What do you think they're gonna do, Sir Lindsay? They won't. Not over some stupid protection racket in a two-bit dump like Dicko's. Look, even if they give her back, they've got to do something to her. Or else, what's the point? Do what? Use your imagination. Well, the police. We'll have to call the police. Look, get real with you, Jackie. The only thing that'll end is Lindsay's Christmas shopping plans. Think about it. Shouldn't you wait for a message or something? Well, you're here, aren't you? You should be able to manage that, shouldn't you? I'll call you later. Legend. Limo collect you in time, did it? So, what do you think of the venue? What do you want? Want? <laughs> oh, I got it. I got you, babe. Why? So what do you think? You used to belong to one of those sad gets who thinks Liverpool started and finished with the Beatles. Kept it got you five years ago, too. Geriatrics, 60s revivals, groups and all that crap. One sad old get seven up for all the other sad old gets. And you'd know all about sad old gets, wouldn't you? <laughs> Whoa. I aren't you the one all togged up for some shitty satellite TV sound-alike competition? What do you want? Well, I thought I could open one of those theme restaurants, you know, Planet Hollywood, Sticky Fingers, something like that. You could gaze a turn if you like. I'm told you'd do a good trick or two. Ah! I've never screwed a superstar before, no even a pretend one, so you just cool it, OK? That what? We wait. Another hour. Nip out and get us a takeaway. You hungry? Use you for me and get her something. You know what they're like. They say they're not hungry then when it gets here, they eat all yours. No, oh, oi. And make sure hers is low fat. I'm sure she wants to watch her figure. Said I'd never get into all this with this one, but I haven't got the patience to get him to sleep. What do you do? I can't just hang about waiting. So what do you do? Running away? Hoping it'll all be over when you come back? I'm going to our Billy's. <gasps> he'll what? Well, he'll come up and help me sort it. Oh. Well, why should you... Why don't you just use the phone? Because it's got to be done face to face. It's an eyeball thing. It's at the ball thing. I've got to do something! Jimmy, I feel the same. <coughs> but what? And what's Billy going to do? He'll help. He won't, you know he won't. He will. He'll help me talk some sense into a lethal weapon out there. Jimmy, love, he won't, because he can't. You saw Barry, didn't you? He's made his mind up. No one's going to stop him, love. Not you, not me, and certainly not your Billy. Jack! Yeah? Hello? Lindsay, love. Hiya, Dad. Lindsay, love, it's your mummy, all right? Have you all right, love? Yeah, I'm fine. Up to now. Yeah. Listen, you. You touch one. <laughs> no, not a hair in her head, not even her wig. So, has he been there yet? Good. You tell him he's gotten to. <sighs> Hello. Oh shit. Hello. Yeah. You tell him he's got till six tomorrow. No, oh, no, wait. The Simpsons are on then, aren't they? Make that seven. Then what? <laughs> then your granddaughter becomes an orphan. I'll call you. Bloody useless thing. He's got to after the Simpsons tomorrow. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, I'll listen. see. Oh, God, Jimmy, we've got to find Barry. Get him to do some deal. We can't. You said yourself. No one can stop him. Where's the can? Sheila. You what? What do 
do you think this is, Jackie? Jimmy Cagney, top of the world, Ma. It's more like Arnie Schwarzenegger in the Terminator. He's not going to listen to his mother. It's the only chance we've got. <sighs> All right. If you think it's worth it, I'll give it a shot. Oh, no, you won't. If you go down there, Billy will start doing his macho act and send you packing. Look, Jimmy, you've got to stay here, haven't you? Because you've got to be at the end of the phone, haven't you, to talk to them? I'll get... Seven tomorrow. Any news? Not yet. You'll be dead by seven tomorrow. Still out for blood? By the bucket. Right. The sooner I get there. Yeah. Oh, God, Jack, if he goes in, all guns blazing. Don't. Look, I'll see you later. Good luck, kid. Tommy, I owe you. Ta-da. Yeah? <clears throat> yeah, right. Can you hear me now? Right. Who said that? I said, who said that the bloody thing? I told you you should have switched to digital by now. GSM, that's what. Got you. Yeah? <laughs> well, he's bound to be looking, isn't he? If you'd lost something like this, you'd be pretty pissed and all. And analogue works better in the country, which is where the house is. OK? You cold? No. I always walk around like this in November. Like I say, give the guys a song, do a turn, shake things about a bit. I ought to warm you up. I could warm you up if you like. I'd rather freeze, thanks. So, would you like something else to wear? What do you think? We better figure out your size first. Mel mm. Gibson keeps you nice and warm in bed, does he? <gasps> I would. 
I would never let you fall into the hands of somebody like me. Careless that. Look, you. I really don't give a shit what you think. But don't think you can treat me like some kind of a toy of any kind. Now, if you're going to do something, do it. If you can. I've had worse than you in my time. So either get it up or shut up. Get your coat and get us something to wear. Like what? That's hard. Uh, what size? Excuse me, won't you? Jackie? What? What? Is it Jimmy? No, it's not Jimmy, she. I went to the house and Claire told me where you were. It's Barry, Sheila. And our Lindsay. I need your help. Oh, God. Um, yeah, hang on a minute while I finish all this. Uh, yeah, I'll, um, I'll wait outside, shall I? So, what's our Barry been up to now? It's all Lindsay, really. Oh, Sheila, she's been kidnapped. Oh, now Barry's got something to do with it. Yeah. Well, not in that way, no. Look, she, is there anywhere we could get a cup of tea from? We've been travelling all day. You know? Yeah, yeah, here. Yeah. Get in. Hold up. Huh? Is this you? <laughs> yeah. I know it's a bit naff, but uh, it still makes me smile. I wish you could find something to do that for me at the moment. Yes, love, what's up? I can't get the toilet to work. Can you fix it? <sighs> yes, babe. I think that's just about my level. Come on. Oh. This is all I've done for the past 24 hours. Are you sure you don't want to answer? No, it's easier if I do it, because I know where everything goes. <sighs> so, will you come back with me? Jackie isn't my responsibility anymore. You got a special deal on Mother Rudge, have you? No, Barry broke that bond when he started going around trying to kill people. Why do you think Billy and I are down here, away from all that? You know what went on between Billy and Jimmy and that Joey Gotten? He killed their Frankie. That doesn't make any of it right. That's what the police and the courts are for. 
Not for the likes of me and Jimmy the Nuss. We never get a fair hearing. Well, perhaps if your husband hadn't spent half of his life up to his neck in crime, things would be different. Billy didn't. Oh, tell you, Stars. I've had all this off Jimmy. How much bottle Billy had to keep away from this even. Oh, well, maybe Jimmy's got a bit of sense then. Oh, yeah, he has. He might act like a clown, but he's not stupid. His only trouble is he's used whatever intelligence he might have to look for the soft option. When you're kicked out of school at 15 with no exams, it's much easier to go up a drain pipe, you know, than a career ladder. What's all this got to do with Barry and Lindsay? Because we put them here. Oh, no. I'm not having that. I'm not having you say I'm to blame for the way Barry's turned out. I'm not saying it. No, you're not saying it, but that's what you're thinking. All I'm saying is, our kids go on, don't they, from whatever start we give them. God, Sheila, I've seen that close up, you know, with the murder of our little Jimmy. I'm sorry, Sheila. I shouldn't have come. It's not your problem. <sighs> oh, I don't know why I came. All I know is if he's going after them fellas and there's guns involved, we could both lose our kids, couldn't we? I told you, I lost him years ago. Would he listen to you, Sheila? <laughs> well, it would be the first time ever. And even if he did, Billy wouldn't. We both agreed we wouldn't get drawn back into all that, Jack, no matter what or who it was. But Billy would understand if it was just to talk to him. No, Jack, I am not doing it. I am not risking it. Look, for the first time in my life, I have got something that I control. This is mine. Nobody else is all mine. Look. Look at this. See this? It's my name on there. My name. This. There's money in here. There's actually money in here. And it's my money. I'm sending Claire on a skiing holiday next half term and I've paid for it all out of here. I'm very pleased for you, Sheila, but what's that got to do with it? But do you know why it's all here? Because of Billy. Because of what he gives me and what I give him. It isn't the money itself. It's the security the relationship gives us, gives me to enable me to do all this. That's what went wrong between Bobby and I. He expected me just to fit in with his life. Billy doesn't expect that. All he expects is for us to fit in with each other, and that means keeping the promises we made to each other. So you just agreed to turn you back on the past, and that is? Sounds like a very Christian attitude. What happened to all that Catholicism, Sheila? All the flowers in the church stuff? I can live with my own conscience. And stuff everyone else? It's not our problem, Jack! So... You don't care what happens to your own son. Well, I can understand that. But you don't care about what happens to Lindsay. Is that right? You don't care about Lindsay? I care about my own. About losing Billy. Claire's nearly a teenager. In a few years, she'll be gone. All I'll have left is Billy. I am not jeopardising that. Not for anything, Jack. Well, how would it? If you've got this fairy tale romance you go on about, he'd understand. Oh, yeah, he would. He would understand, and then he'd have to consider all this bottle he's supposed to have, and he'd go charging up there to sort it all out. And then what? If he gets beaten up or worse? Oh, no, no, I am not risking it, Jack. Whatever Barry is or whatever he's done, it's his doing. And whatever your Lindsay's mixed up in, it's her doing. Not mine, not Billy's. It's your mess. You sort it. I know, she. I know. 
God forgive me, I used the same argument myself, trying to get Barry to do a deal to get Lindsay free. Even if it meant Ron Dixon going under. So, yeah, I understand. But don't you get carried away thinking that you're doing this to protect Billy. You're doing it for yourself. All this. <laughs> and I understand that, love. Really <laughs> oh, come on, son. We're all under stress here. Oh. What is it, eh? Come on, son. I've done a top and bottom end. If you're knackered, just have a kip. Grandad, can I have a bath now? No, not just yet, love. I'm under the cosh a bit here, aren't I? How, how'd you do that? Will that be mummy? Um, probably not. Look, you stay there, stay by his side, okay? All right, Tia. Um, you better come in. I'll be back up there with a pan of cold water in a minute. How do you do that? You just have to be calm with them. I can be calm with all this going on. Well, it's not that. It's me. He hates me, don't you? Hey, just want to show me up in front of you, Mum. So, Barry's been all over, has he? Yeah, starting with his old cronies. Now he's after anybody who knows this Finnegan fella. So you know all about what's going down then, do you? I know enough to know that Barry's pissed about some business with your Lindsay. Half the city knows what's going on, Jim. Oh, come on, Jim. I didn't come here to nurse him to sleep. Look, I know me and Barry didn't get married, but we do go back a bit, you know. I might be able to help. Right that bad, is it? He's got a gun and he'll use it bad enough. has been a size too big and they are Reebok classics, you know. I still think you ought to thank Benny for the clothes. 
Buy many women's clothes, do you, Benny? Only for women I like. Where is that lazy so-and-so? I said I wanted the car back by now. That's my problem, you see. Too soft. In the ad like. <laughs> Good. Well, here we all are enjoying a nice weekend's kidnapping and soft lad has to go off and play golf. The annual tournament. We didn't know this was going to happen, did we? <coughs> see, that's the other thing about digital. It plays its tune instead of that bird wobble. I don't want a wee tune. Right, what? Lover boy's got a good golf handicapper here. Oh, shh. Now she wants a drink of water. They always do. You like that? Have you had enough? Yeah, sound. Jackie must be proud having a wife like you. <sighs> Feeling like that, though. Like one of them wives in a John Wayne movie. Stays at home boiling water and ripping sheets up while he's off out taking on 60,000 Indians or something. Talking of Indians, I think I'll go for a mosey and scout out the land and check Barbaruki out later as well. Hey, Barry won't be hanging out there. You said yourself he'd be out beating the bushes. Yeah, well, I feel like a pint, though. Look, I'll call you if anything happens. Yeah, don't worry. I'll stay here and look after the flaming kids. Nice house, she. Well, same size as yours, Jack, but twice the price down here. What did Billy say? Well, you're right. He'll understand. Oh, uh, was he not in? Uh, no, he's doing a refit on a new superstore. It's all he seems to get these days. Going up everywhere, aren't they? Yeah, well, we're not complaining. Anyway, he'll pick Claire up on the way back and uh, I'll ring him when we get there. God, I should have phoned Jimmy. He'll be going mental. Well, you can do it on the move. Times have changed, eh?
mental, haven't I? Never mind that. Look, is she coming? Oh, thank God for something. Where are you? Grandad. The N6. Are you on a mobile? Is it now? Grandad, all right, I'm not deaf. No, no, the kids are fine, everything's all right. Just hurry up with your eh, love. Grandad. I'm coming. Kids are fine. <laughs> he sounds asked. They always are after five minutes on their own with the kids. Nice phone, she. All right, Sally, what are you doing here? Oh, all right, Sam. I thought I'd just have a pint. Oh, yeah. You always walk 15 miles to get a bevy, do you? Looks busy in here. Yeah, probably since they got rid of that big ugly get on the door. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was horrible, he was, till he had it done in with Barry Grant. Gave him a good smacking, I believe. And why was that, then? Well, apparently someone had been putting the arm on Jackie Dicko. Barry sussed it out and gave him a couple of slaps. Oh, behave. And I'm telling you. Well, Barry always had a soft spot for Jackie Dicko, didn't he? Since when? I don't think he's seen her since she was at school. Yeah. What? 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 And? And? I saw them, didn't I? <sighs> Doing what? Well, do I have to draw you the picture? Well, you could start by talking in English, couldn't you? It was years ago. I was on the ladder. Dicko's bedroom window, right? Right, and? Well, it wasn't a history of vision she was getting stuck into. More like biology. With Barry? Yeah, gospel. And you've known all this time. Confidentiality of the window cleaning, isn't it? How come you're telling me now? Because you asked me. I never. You asked me why Barry slapped the ugly get off the door. Oh, to be soft. What? 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 Oh, don't start all that again. What do you know? Well, no, Barry wouldn't slap someone because he got his leg over a few years back. Why would he do it then? I don't know. But maybe Jackie Dixon knows. Uh, she's not there, is she? She's at the Aussie with her owl fella. It's his ticket again. It's nearly popped his clogs last week. Oh, yeah. Are you doing it again? Doing what? <sighs> oh, look, come on, how do I know what's been going on round here, eh? Well, you know something that I don't know, otherwise you wouldn't be round here. Yeah, well, I heard Barry was in trouble, so I thought I might be able to help. Why? Well, we go back a long way, don't we? <sighs> so come on, Sinbad, what's going on? How long have you got? Long enough for you to buy me a pint. Oh, God, please, Jesus, no. What the... All right, Al. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, uh, just knocked something over, you know. Have the lights off to save a few bob, like. Anyway, see ya. Uh, I thought I saw someone come over your fence. Did you? No one here, though. See ya. Shit, Jimmy. I thought you were that Finnegan head case. Yeah, well, so did I. You could have freaking killed me out there. And what were you going to do with that? Peel me to death.
Make us a cup of tea, will you, Jimmy? You are? You are joking, aren't you? You've been out God knows where doing God knows what. You scare me shitless and now you want a fucking cup of tea? Yeah. Oh, I don't blame him. Believe it. Oh, come on. You can put the kettle on. Hello, it's me. That car ride for me. Reported stolen. From outside the hotel. At about four hours ago. And get me another. Yeah, a bit bigger this time. And delivered to the hotel. Then called Solly Brown. Tell him the shit's hit the floor. He'll know what I mean. Tosser. Can I uh, help towards the petrol ship? No, you can't. No need's greater than mine. Yeah, it's out of a taste at the moment. Have you always? Well, you know, I mean, if Jimmy sticks to this teaching thing, hopefully. Mind you, God knows how many times I've said that. I was born to struggle, I think. Struggling's one thing. Suffering's another. How do you mean? Well, you know, really love him, like, not just putting up with him because he's the best you can do, but, yeah, love him. Are you going all Barbara Cartland on me? <laughs> no. It's just all this business, you know. I mean, I know it's about all Lindsay being mixed up with Barry, but... Oh, I don't know. It's like you were saying before. It's just the latest in a long line, isn't it? It's not the thieving, it's the drugs. It... <sighs> Even if you want to get out, you can't. There's always something trying to pull you back. Just like I'm doing with you now, eh? <laughs> yeah, Barry's my son. The sins of my past. <laughs> Is this going to work, Jack? I have to do something, she. If I don't, it'll all escalate like it usually does. And I could end up losing Lindsay. And Jim. To say nothing of your body. <laughs> don't have a choice, do I? Is that what you meant about Billy? Did I have a choice? I think I was talking about me and Jimmy, really. I mean, why do I put up with this all? Do I love him? Or am I just stuck with him? Nowhere else to go, you mean? Well, I haven't, have I? Where would I go now with little Billy? Do you know, I used to feel exactly the same about me and Bob. If you'd have asked me when our Claire was born if I'd ever leave Bob, I'd have said you were balmy. I mean, same thing. 44 with a baby. I mean, where could I go? <laughs> but look at me now. So was it Bill or was it Bob? <laughs> Sounds like the flower pot men. Plant pots more like. <laughs> Mm, I've spent many an hour in the confessional over this one. But you know, in the end, or in the beginning, I think it was more about what I didn't want than what I did. I don't know. Maybe if we'd stayed on the estate and not tried to better ourselves, I'd have still been with Bob. And maybe Damon would still be alive. Do you know, that's exactly the way I feel about little Jim. If we were still on that estate, maybe he'd be alive too. Yeah, but how do you know? Maybe. Would you trade us in, Shay? And go back? Just to get our Damon with me again. And that's the only reason I'm here. I've lost one. I want to keep the other. Let's go. 
they see this place is doing better than it was. Yeah, the colours get me though. Oh, makes you feel like you're trapped inside someone's waistcoat all the time. So come on, why is Barry running around after this Finnegan fella? When did you last see Barry? A couple of years ago, before he went off to Florida, and when he signed this place over to me. Why did he do that? Well, he needs the cash, and he? Well, he owed me. Yeah, but he didn't want to sell. He didn't have much option. So then you signed this place over to that JC Bradley fella? Who then sold it to Ron and Jackie. So Barry's pissed off because this Finnegan fella's putting the squeeze on what he thinks should still be his club. That could be. Do you know how stupid that sounds? Yeah, well, what about him still having a soft spot for Jackie Dixon after what you said you saw? Hey, I told you that in professional confidence. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. Now, it's pride, isn't he? I mean, like you said, a few years, he's moved on. He's not a plazzy gangster anymore, he's a real one. And I tell you, this Finnegan fella, he spilt ale on his suit. Yeah, but you don't go and shoot someone because of that, do you? Yeah, but that's how it starts. It always starts with something stupid. I mean, who are you looking at? Are you clocking my beard? You know the score. It's not what's being said. It's by who, when, and why. So, we know who, when, so why? It's face, isn't it? The whole world revolves around it. Who's got the biggest car, who's got the most balls? How big are Barry's balls? Well, that's it, isn't it? Who's the hardest? Goes back to the playground, doesn't it? Give us your sweet or I'll kick your head in. So you still haven't lost the knack of stating the bleeding obvious without saying bugger all, Jim. Look, this needs warming up. That's why he's been kicking off. <laughs> oh, that another of your specialities, is it? Eh? Killing people and warming babies' bottles. Amounts to the same thing. What? Satisfying basic animal needs. I only do what has to be done. How'd you do that? Depends what the situation is. Not that. That? Just have to stay calm, that's all. Oh, yeah, that's right, I forgot. I'm supposed to remain calm. Well, my daughter's been kidnapped and you're going around trying to shoot people. So what's next, then? Jimmy, I'm trying to get a kip here. Never mind, you're trying to get a kip. Look, they said I've got till seven tomorrow, right? Yeah, well? Well, we don't know where they are, do we? Yeah, but they could be doing anything to our Lindsay, couldn't they, eh? So what's the plan, then? Well, they'll call again. Even if it's only to gloat. I've put the word out again, so... We wait. Yeah, look. He's gone off now. Why don't you take him up to Jackie? Ah, uh, yeah. Is that Mick Johnson going into my old house? Yeah, he lives there now, love. Well, it doesn't change much. Trees are growing. It's all right. It's all right. Hey. Any news? No. They've still got him. Thanks. Thanks for coming up, Sheila. Can I, um, 
Uh, yes, love. Cheers, thanks. Look, it can't be just that. Why did he come back anyway? For a funeral, so we said. Mind you, he's been very supportive of the widow. <laughs> oh, I can't see him salving a couple of hundred miles just to get his leg over. Not bad, and not at a funeral. Well, he also said that it would do him good not to be seen down south for a while. Ah, well, that's more like it, isn't it? Do you remember when he used to disappear from here every now and again? Did he say why? Does he ever say anything? Well, we'll just have to go and ask him, won't we? What do you think she's gonna do to make me change my mind, eh, Jimmy? Barry, lad, you've gotta see sense. You've gotta deal with them fellas. I am dealing with now, them. With that, I suppose. What are you doing here, ma'am? I don't know. I've been asking myself that all the way up here. Yeah. Well, ask yourself on the way back down, then, eh? Hey, hang on, you. And don't you start either. Oh, what? You'll shoot me or something? Have you two been working on your double act on the way up here? Now look, Barry. No, you look, ma'am. I mean you haven't talked for the best part of seven years. You know why. And so do I. You said you didn't want any part of my life. So let's keep it that way, eh? Yeah, and I would have done. And it's not just your life anymore, is it? It's Lindsay's. Or have you forgotten about her? I haven't forgotten one little detail. Who do you reckon that is? I don't know, but whatever it is. Oh, for God's sake, don't be so bloody ridiculous. Oh, eh. Uh, are you? Hi. Back coming, Terry. Well, like Jimmy uses the flowers for. Oh, hello, Sheila. Nice and bad. Are you alright? Mm. Oh, bloody hell, Jimmy. Why didn't you just go and take out the full page in the echo or something? Don't look at me. Hey, hang on. It's got nothing to do with him, me being here. Oh, so this is one of yours, is it? I came here of my own accord. You what? Well, the word's all over the place that you're charging round like a bull elephant everywhere after this Finnegan fella. What are you doing here, Terry? Well, you know. No, I don't know. That's why I'm asking. Well, probably the same reason your ma's here. To try and stop you from making a big mistake. There's only one person who's made a mistake, and that's Finnegan by snatching Lindsay. Perhaps he has. But that's what this is all about, remember? My Lindsay. My daughter. Not about your macho pride. Oh, yeah. We all know that's what it's about, Barry. The great Barry Grant being slapped around a bit. Well, no, it's not. It's about much more than that because it's about my daughter. And God knows what those bastards could be doing to her! Shut! Shut! Oh, Get in! Leave ah! 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 There's no need for this, you know. If you want my body, you only have to say so. Ah! What do you say, Benny? You were there now, I'll leave it till later. Ah! Ah! Turn! Ah! Ah! Right! There's plenty of time. You'll come back later, and then. Says we wait. I do. That's it. But how do you know they'll phone? Have they said when and where the deal will be yet? No. So we wait. We have to tell the police. Mum, we've been through all this. If you tell the police, you might or might not, probably not, see Lindsay again. And even if you do, well, they'd probably kidnap Carly or something to stop Lindsay being a witness. Do you get it now? I mean, is it starting to sink in? We can't go after all of them. I only need to take Finnegan. Well, how are you going to get close enough to do that? I've just got to find him. What, and then what? They're charging in like Bruce Willis or somebody. Well? You don't want to know. Oh, you're right. I don't want to know anything about this. But I'm here, aren't I? Yeah, well, nobody asked you to come, did Where they? Where are you going? To get ready. And what are we supposed to do in the meantime, Mike? Well, for a start off, you can stop selling tickets and get rid of that van out there. That's unless you want the whole of the neighbourhood to know what's going on. So you think Mr Grant's a bit pissed, then? Just a little. <laughs> Time to wind him up a bit more, then, I'd say. Do 
done see it. Well, he'd gone OTT, put one through oh. Yorkie's leg. With this. Which means he isn't going to go away like he should. You might have got all my Tyson's missus back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then what? He gets having the kid out of the way and comes after me and what? A truck? No. There's only one end to this wee game. He loses everything. You were uh, serious about doing the business on our lady friend? Oh, why? How? You want a piece? <laughs> I don't have to grab it when I can. Neither do I. Prisoning off is much fun. Especially thinking about when Grant finds out I've been up his woman. <sighs> Better your turn on that. You uh, want me to hold your coat then? <laughs> it's no my coat you have to hold. <sighs> so, which do you want then? What do you think? So the Mother's Union's still waiting to pounce, are they? Yeah, you should turn that lot round to Finnegan's mother. They'll sort it all out. And bags of 30 paces. So you come to save me soul, have you, Terry? Trying to do me mind out of a job. You sold your soul years ago. Got a good price for it and all. Oh, are you? And how many more have you killed now, then? Why are you here, Terry? I don't need a lecture off you or eh? I don't know. I was in the bowler hat on the Whittle. The bowler hat? Yeah. And Sizzler was in there. Remember him? S -s Sizzler. I remember his missus better. I had to do one out of their house without me skiddies when he came home. Yeah, well, he was going on about you, how he dared you were backing on the prowl for Vinnigan, and how he hoped he'd sort you out. S some hope. He always was a dickhead. Yeah, well, you never always thought that. I was a dickhead myself then, wasn't I? Was. But... I suppose... Well, suppose I come to warn you. I didn't want you walking into World War Three. See that, Terry? Use it. I've screwed up your life too many times in the past. I screwed it up. You only made it worse. No, you heard what your Jimmy said. Just stay where you are. Yeah. <laughs> Since when has he ever listened to anything I've said? <laughs> I've been asking myself what the point was. Yes, ever since I got here. I know. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Look, I'll just stop over and head back tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love you too. Kiss Claire for me, will you? Okay. Bye, love. Do you know, if there is reincarnation, I'm coming back as a milkman. <laughs> Baby's fast asleep. How was it? Mm -hmm. Not a girl, not a mama. See? Told you'd be okay. Don't know I can make bottles at a time like this. Oh, what am I supposed to do? Let the poor little beggar starve to death. Oh, look what you've made me do now. Have I put five or six in there? Six. Are you sure? I'm positive. Anyway, it's always best to make it too thin and too thick. Billy, OK? Oh, yeah, it's fine. It's my nerves that are shot. Mm. How do you think I feel? Oh, I'm sorry, love. I don't need your help, Terry. And I don't want it. You can't do it all on your own. Can't I? You might think you can. Look, Terry, things have moved on a bit. We're not two scallies farting around anymore. Robbing copper off building sites. Torching the Cleary's van. Sorting that Simon out. Or even messing about with Joey Godden and his third division arseholes. These lots are Premier League. And this is the only way to qualify. Well, I guess that makes me non-league then. You always have been, sir. And keep it that way. I don't know when things started to go off the rails, but them lock can crack on as much as they like in there. But I've always done what I've done, because I had to. I mean, you could have walked away a few times. Well, that's my problem, isn't it? I can't. Never could. 
If I see something's wrong and I can do something about it, well, well, I do. Hey, do you remember that time in junior school when... Hello? Yeah, yeah. How's Lindsay? OK, OK, I'm listening. Where? Yeah, I know that. Go there, wait. And then you call again, yeah? Oh. Listen, gobshite. No, you listen. I'm not running around like some poxy video you've just been watching. If you want a deal, just deal, eh? I don't give a toss what you do to her. It's you I'm gonna get. Get it? It's not her, it's you! Oh, you couldn't give a toss what they do to her. You fucking little hey, cat! Jimmy, I'm crashing my Lindsay! Let's go! Jimmy, you! Bastard! You just banished them! And that's exactly what you better hope I am. Get off! What in God's name do you think you're playing at? I'm not doing anything in his name. I'm doing it in my own man. You could be doing anything to our Lindsay, you! What makes you think they haven't already, Jimmy? Oh, do you think that little performance helped? And what are you still doing here, Sin? He's asking questions we're all thinking! Look! He's using Lindsay as a bargaining tool, right? Either he'll hand her back or he won't. Either way, me being jerked around makes no difference. If he's still got her, we'll get her back. If he hasn't... What do you mean, if he hasn't? It's ransom, isn't it? That's the last video we saw. He thinks he's Mel Gibson, I said so at the beginning. Hey. If we do get him to come out for the exchange, do you think he'll come alone? And if he really doesn't give a monkey's about old share. Tricky one in Mr. Grant, isn't he? So what do you reckon? Set something up and see what happens? No other choices, is there? Ah, but we can say where, when and how. Well, why can't we? The three of us? Oh, I don't know, Jimmy. No way. What? You lot aren't getting involved. Look, Barry. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, OK. OK. Right. He's gone for it. The Conti nightclub. <laughs> well? He wants to meet. Where? I'll call you later. We want to do something. She's my daughter. Jimmy. Listen to her, Jimmy. It's not just him, you know. I mean, these fellas are well out of order. And so are you. Go back over the will, will you, Terry? You way out of your league. You are all are. Can I have a word? Just one. And what would that be? Damon. <laughs> Lord, who would survive? But with you is found forgiveness. You're a special fellow, our Damon. I'm sorry. I had to say that. You'll have to use it. It's not that I don't think about him every day. I do. It's not even the flaming anger about it all. Why him? Why me? God knows none of us expect to outlive our own children. Losing one son to mindless violence is... God, well, I don't know what it is. Except it doesn't make any sense. 
But he disturbed someone who was trying to rob him. There is a reason for that. This... This is insane. I can still see. Feel. When we were over the road. Cleaning my windows and them. That mate of Rod Corkill's. Tomo. I remember him getting out of the police car. And I knew. And I knew it was Damon. Could have been any one of you, but... I knew it was Damon. I don't want some other young policeman knocking on my door about you, and I don't want one knocking on Jackie's door about Lindsay. They won't. At least not about that. Don't do it, Barry, please. Don't get involved. I am involved. But why? And Jackie's right, it's not your problem, it's Jackie and, and Ron Dixon's problem. Let them sort it. What's happened to your Christianity, Amar? Only do unto your own and stuff thy neighbours. You can't take the law into your own hands. Look, ma'am. I know you can't cope with who I am or what I am, but... <sighs> Oh, I know exactly what you are. I've always known. I've tried to turn a blind eye, hoping I was wrong. I bandaged you up too many times to know that you weren't just accident prone. Then you know I can't walk away. Yeah, I know. But I don't understand why. It's not your argument. I made it my argument. But why? 30,000 enough for you. 30,000? You mean you are getting paid to kill somebody? To make it go away. Oh. Make it go away? What's the matter, Barry? Can't you say, kill someone? They pushed it that way, Mum. Oh, and you beating them up didn't have anything to do with it, I suppose. They came after me first. Who else is going to help them? If I walk away, they'll walk all over Ron and Jackie. And it won't end there. Well, it might. It's got to be worth a try. Mum, I thought you had more sense than them wooden tops upstairs. Look, I haven't got time for all of this, but... This isn't about money. Or about the dick old shitty little bar. This is about me. And Finnegan. He tried to walk all over me. So I damaged him. Now he wants to get even. And he's only using Lindsay to get to me. To make a noose to go round me neck. On a psycho scale, he's up there, ma'am. And that means it's a one-way road. It ends when it's over. Good God. I don't believe I'm hearing this. Have you heard yourself? Have you heard what you sound like? Is that it? Can I go now? I just don't understand. What? The difference between right and wrong, you mean? What you're planning to do isn't right. Right? Don't you come swanning back here and start lecturing me about models, ma. It was in this room here that I caught you in bed with Billy, remember? Before your bed had gone cold with the fella I used to think was me dad. What? You didn't know I knew? That Bobby wasn't my half fella? That my real dad's name was Matty? Well, I do. And on the Sheila Grand scale of right and wrong, well, how does that rate, eh? Not telling your son who his real dad was for all these years. How does that rate? Was it right to have a one-night stand with your husband's best friend and then let him bring the bastard up as his own? You can't compare that with what you're going to do. Oh, can't you? Why not? Because your set of rules are better than mine. Because you're planning to go out and kill somebody. An eye for an eye, ma'am. It's in the rule book. 
You did what you did to save your own skin. You could have walked away from Bobby. That's easy to say now. Yeah. Yeah, it was harder in them days, wasn't it? You'd had nowhere to go. But who were you doing it for? I did what I thought was best. Oh, yeah? Yes. Oh, it's easy for you now, isn't it, to look back and be all sanctimonious, especially with a gun in your pocket. But I was a young, naive, stupid 18-year-old. I don't even know what was in my head then, and whether you believe it or not, I did it because I thought it was best for Bobby. Keep quiet, and who would know? Oh, yeah. What the eye can't see. I was just a kid. I don't think I was doing it for myself. Yeah, well, like mother, like son, I'm not doing this for me. I'm doing it for Lindsay. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't realise it myself until he snatched her. I don't care about Dicko's bar. I got her into this, so I've got to get her out of it. Do you understand that? So, is it my fault? Look, Ma. One day I'll pay for us to all go and have our heads read, find out what we've all screwed up. It's just... life, isn't it? That's where we're coming from, not going to. I should have been a chippy. I know that. I know that's what life had in store for me, but... I didn't want that. I wanted more. And I wasn't going to get it without all levels, right? Sinbad? Terry? Listen, um, do you two really want to help out? I don't mean with any of the heavy stuff. Yeah, what? Well, uh, for a start, you can shift me Mars van. And I want you to go down to Conti and wait in the car park. I don't want you to get involved. I just want you to watch every car that comes in and out, all right? Right. Then what? Then I'll tell you. How did you know about your dad? Terry. I'm going to tell you something I've never told anybody else, ever. And don't have a go with him. It was your mistake. And an even bigger one telling him. Let's go away. I'll give you the lift to your van. Teddy, Sin. Look, thanks very much for helping out. Mm. Give us a ring, eh, if you're still alive. See you. So where are you off, then? Same way I came. Not supposed to be here, am I? Look, I know you can't change where you came from, but you can change the future. Just remember, Damon, please. Unless it's me. Hold in. See you, man. Barry. Good luck.
Get in out. Fetch him here. He sent that fat window cleaner mate of his. Now we know where you are, you gobshite. Evening, Mr. Finnegan. Where's Grant? Look, would it do me any good if I told you I don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> Look, I don't know what's going on, if there is anything going on, like... Ah! 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 He just told me to meet him here, that's all! You look stupid enough to be used as bait. Oh well, if that's the way he wants it. Let's not keep the lady waiting. No, no! Oh, sorry. You bitch. It's playtime. Good days of torture. Okay, no thanks to him. Now eat it. Give me an idea where that's been. Just do it. No. Do it. 
fucking do it, you gobshite! Fuck off! When it comes down to it, I don't think you've got the fucking balls. He might not, but I have you bastard! Get off! Come on with you! Get off, I want that bastard! Come here! I want a bastard! Hey, 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 hey! A living legend. I want you to feel the big jealous. Oh, have you done it? And you nearly tap it to me as well, you bloody mad woman! I wanna... Diddy! Diddy! No. Bastard! Hey, listen. You might be not to get on the wrong side of you. Are you okay? I am now. Hey, did you see his face just before I? Oh well, no, I was too busy trying to save my own skin. I'm sorry. I was just. I know what you were trying to do. Just like now, eh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What about tomorrow? See what happens, eh? <laughs> you sure you're okay? So I didn't do it. Thank God. So what did you do, man? <laughs> well, uh, let's just say we can sound it all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, Sheila. What? I just want to know something. What, look? How'd you do that? <laughs> years of practice, Jim. Years. You feel like going back on your own? Oh, yeah, especially after that lunch. I won't have to stop, will I? I don't think anyone will feel like cooking today. Oh, you were right there. Right, should we go and play on the swings then? Bye-bye, Sheila. Bye, love. Take care. Mm. Can you take your granddad? See you, she. Bye, love. Mm. All the best to our Billy, eh? I will. Take care. Thanks for coming up, she. Hope it's worthwhile. Bye, love. Bye, bye. <laughs> I'm sorry I had to find out about your dad through Terry and not from me. Yeah. But it's okay though, Mum. I've had uh, a few years to think about it. And then I realised I never really had to live up to who or what my dad was. Or who and what I was. We make our own lives, don't we? Can't blame anyone else. I suppose not. I'll never condone what you do, Barry, but I do think I understand it a bit better. Right or wrong? Mm, choices. Or the lack of them. I better be going. Thanks, love. Should we talk about all this one day? Well, you know where I am. You know where I am. Here we go again. Yeah, well, it's Christmas soon, isn't it? Season of goodwill and all that. Yeah. Are you serious about her? I don't know. Well, you risked your life for her. Yeah, but life as we know is not as simple as that. Go on, you better get going. I'll uh, give you the call around Christmas. Tell you if everything's still the same. I thought all that business was finished. That business is finished. I'm talking about me and Lindsay. Are you sure? Yeah. Like I said, it's all contained. Ta da, Mum. Well, she is a core kill. So, uh, is this still today or has tomorrow arrived yet? See what the next day brings, eh? Do you know who you are? What? One serious case. 